Hi everybody, uh, today we're going to have a look at the multivan and the big question is could this possibly be the best vehicle for multi-purpose use of different things that you want to use a vehicle for? Is it the best family car for example that would be in there? Is it the best vehicle for holidays and things like that? So I'm going to answer those questions for you today. Uh, I think it is personally, if you watch the channel uh, for a long time, this is obviously the new version of the Caravelle uh, which we've had before which was like a a little bit of a secret thing with Volkswagen, I think, but you've probably seen them on shows like The Apprentice uh, that's in there and the old Caravelle. Great vehicle. And this is just a new version of it. It's got the same features that's there uh, with that vehicle as well that's inside it. So we're going to get into that today. I'm going to show you around the vehicle, show you what the benefits are, looking at purely from a multi-purpose vehicle. So we're not talking about engine derivatives and all things like that and what you get with the vehicle. This is about the practicalities uh, of the vehicle, actually having it uh, for your everyday uh, use that you can use with it. So the vehicle behind me is the long version and it's worth pointing that out. So uh, with these vehicles, you've got a standard and you've got a long. Uh, it's not a long wheelbase. So the wheelbase is the same uh, on both of these vehicles. The difference being is what's at the back of the vehicle. So this is the long version. And essentially, it's easy to tell, this is a bit bigger uh, than what it would be on the uh, on the standard version. Uh, 200 mil longer, so not a huge amount longer, but you know, so much uh, that's in here, what's two, um, something like that maybe, something like that in, in size wise. Does make quite a big difference in size with the with the cabin uh, that's there, but obviously it does give a little bit longer vehicle. But the real big thing about these is, uh, obviously we can have a look around the outside of it, the big thing is what happens inside the vehicle. So it's how big it is, how much room we have. So I'm going to ignore the front for a minute because the front's the front, it's two seats, it's got a steering wheel, you all know what a car looks like. Um, but moving back inside on here, so this one's got electric doors on there. And as the door opens, currently got it set, this has got the conference pack as an option, which allows you to turn these two seats through 180 degrees. True seven seater, so seven seats that adults can actually uh, get in there. So if I jump into the middle, so plenty of room, plenty of headroom that's here. Uh, obviously, if you've got people on either side of you, uh, you can have those on here. Uh, you can stand up from, from here at the side. Practicality wise, everybody's got a little cup holder that's in here and uh, a little USB-C socket, so you want to plug phones and things like that, so you've got people in the back. And it's just a nice place to be. And the advantage of one of these, obviously, with this seating configuration that it has here, so as standard, these two seats will be facing the other way around. Um, but these seats all move up and down on a railing system. So this seat, for example, here will move all the way forward. So, uh, for example, when I've had one of these vehicles before, uh, actually, in fact, I've removed two of the seats for during the day because I've not needed them, for example, and move these seats forward to give me that second row here and a huge, huge boot then uh, in the back of the vehicle. So uh, it really is that true multi-function uh, vehicle, um, multi-van, I suppose. Uh, <laughs> name gives it away a little bit as well. Uh, but obviously, <coughs> you know, it's just multi-use. You can use it for lots and lots of different things. This is with the setup in the back, as I said. Um, even things down to, you can put your seats down. So you've got some cup holders in the back of here. Really have thought of a huge amount uh, with this vehicle as well, as I said, and these seats all move backwards and forwards. We've got headrests on the back uh, that's on here as well. And then also we get a little table. I do like this. Uh, you may have seen when we went to the launch, showed you a video of this in action before, but this little thing moves up and down, can go in between the two front seats if you want. I found it quite handy because I've got cup holders again, so put things that's in the front that's in there as well. But in the back, press a button, it comes up and then you've got two little tables that come out as well. So if you sat at these particular two seats here, whether they're pointed backwards or forwards, uh, that's in there as well is obviously you can have, uh, you know, you can be doing things with the vehicle as well at the same time, or you can bring this all the way back. As I said, the lovely thing with this is, is you can take the seats out. So for example, you might decide, I don't want this seat in the conference style, take this seat out completely. And then obviously this then can move further back. So. The two people here, for example, you could have access from here from the seat or from there from the seat. You know, you could be out, for example, for the day. You could all be playing cards and things as you're driving along uh, in the vehicle and things like that as well. So, again, another use for it as well. So that kind of covers it from the, um, say, a people carrying version of this. So whether you've got, for example, a large family you need to carry people around, uh, you've got extended family that, uh, that you do. You do other things as well that you need extra seats for at the weekend. Uh, for example, if you, you know, ferrying people around, you've got uh, family and friends, etc. that's in there. It's that versatility of just being able to do it with one vehicle. So you're not having to keep, you know, I've got two vehicles, taking two every time, because obviously you know, that's an expense-wise, you've got one vehicle that does everything 
all at once. Um, so let's pop this out of the way. It's worth pointing out on the previous model, the 6.1 model, like with the oceans and the, uh, the beach, for example, these seats are actually quite light and they're dead easy to handle as well. Uh, we'll put a link to a video because I have done a video where we've taken the seats out uh, of one of these vehicles as well. So it's nice and easy. So it's not like a big effort. You know, if you just decide, oh, actually, we just need, we're going away, for example, and just want to take two seats out. It's a very quick in, out, leave them at home uh, and put them back, for example, that's in there. Or alternatively, if you suddenly realise, actually, we need to keep a few more people, grab the seat, for example, if you've got a garage or something like that, and you can whip it back in easily. So I mentioned cup holders and things that's in the side here. Got big bins as well down on the side here. Uh, so you've got lots of things. Uh, again, the same side on the other one on there. Again, another USB-C, so plenty of places to plug in charges, etc. We've also got these things on the side here. Uh, get lo lots of people asking me what these are for. Uh, but essentially what you can do is with these, is you can put a net up here or at the other side and that stops uh, things moving backwards and forwards along the vehicle. Uh, so you can put like a cage in the back as well. Uh, so really have thought about everything. So the heating and ventilation, you've got one on each side here. So pretty much every seat has got one that can access, whether it be the middle, the ones here at the side. Uh, you've got lights as well, which you can press and turn on and off, for example, individually as well. So we need to put those on in here. Uh, so let's have a look in the boot because that's important isn't it in a car like this so uh boot comes up this one's got the electric tailgate uh, that's on it uh, and as you can see from the back this is the longer version uh, and these seats obviously are as far back as they can to give it lots and lots of space uh, that's in there you get a little parcel shelf so people can't see uh, underneath and what's actually in the vehicle but if i flip that out for a minute to give you an idea on space uh, you will notice through in here at the moment i've got a blow-up mattress and a sleeping bag uh, there's a video coming one of our little cheeky videos that we do with when you can you sleep in a vehicle so we're going to be trying this one next in this vehicle so uh, that video will be coming shortly uh, but it just gives you an idea how much space there is in the back of here um, but this is where it comes into its own because these seats as i said before you've got lots of options like for example you can flick the seat down uh, from on here you could do that on all of them to give you more access to go in the vehicle or again you could move that seat forward so you give it a pull and then that gives you an idea how much boot space you could have. So again, we've done a video looking at storage on these. We've taken all the seats out of one of these as well to give you an idea, but uh, obviously you can take all the rear seats out, all five seats in the back uh, completely. And then you've got a cavernous uh, vehicle that's in there as well. If you need to do any moving around of things, for example, or sleeping or camping or something like that in the back. As a vehicle, it's classed as a five door, because obviously we've got the two front ones, where we've got this double access on the side of the vehicle, so on both sides, so it's easy to get in and out. Uh, I'm a real massive fan of sliding doors on vehicles rather than ones that open out. Uh, you're parking in car parks, you're really tight to something, you can't get in and out. You only need a very small amount of space above the vehicle size. Uh, obviously, you can see where the vehicle is from in here compared to here that is sticking out on the side and you can get easily in and out then you can get everybody in and out uh, as you need to and obviously get access from either side of it nice with the electric doors as well because you just give it a press and the door just shut and you can access that from inside as well so you can just pull up and somebody jump in and jump back out again i just mentioned about closing the doors for example and that's on the dash uh, that's on here with your buttons to shut the doors that's on there as well so that one's the one we've just done Again, really, really practical because you don't actually have to get out of the vehicle. I did say this vehicle is really all about the rear of the vehicle, but obviously we are in the front of the vehicle that's here. And as always on these things, lots of places have so storage, 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 cup holders that's in here. You've got your centre console, which comes in and out. You've got your big door pockets uh, that's in the vehicle as well. So loads and loads of storage space to put stuff in. So what do you think as a family car is a multi-purpose vehicle? Uh, do you like the multivan? Uh, let us know in the comments box below. Put down there what you think uh, about the vehicle. Uh, I think this vehicle doesn't quite get the recognition it probably deserves. It's a cracking vehicle. It suits out loads and loads of people. Within the Volkswagen range, it's the only really true seven-seater uh, that we do now uh, within this range. It's in here as well that you can get all those people in uh, in the vehicle as well for moving around or we'll turn to the fleet to pack it full of uh, stuff that you want to move around as well as a vehicle so uh, perfect choice I think for uh, something like that so if you would enjoyed today's video give us a thumbs up give us a like uh, if you haven't hit that subscribe button uh, do that now would be great because it really does help us out and we'll see you next time